folks welcome to another episode uh so england are playing the all blacks this coming weekend it's the start of the autumn internationals yeah it's already the time uh for the november series um time flies time flies i didn't think they're gonna start this week but when i looked up on my calendar i realized they're starting uh, this uh, this week uh the both sides have released their squads for this game uh i'm gonna start with england as you can see on the screen it's not really a big there's no big difference to the names it's familiar names these are guys we've seen before when they played new zealand down in new zealand for that june series but i don't think there was will stewart in new zealand i don't think he played in new zealand yeah i think i'm I, i'm not sure guys but i don't think will stewart played in new zealand i may be mistaken but i don't think he played second row is familiar names again maro itoche and george martin yeah the back row with chillingham south tom curry and ben l number nine is where the big difference they've changed there's no alex mitchell so they've gone with ben spencer number 10 is marka smith you know marka smith is going to be very crucial in this game i think it's their best number 10 at the moment so they've gone with him he played well when they played new zealand uh, in june series backline is very much talented at 15 they have george uh, fairbank the other guy from Leicester Tigers is not going to play. I don't think he's included in the squad. I forgot his name. What was his name? I forgot his name. Number 15. Tall guy from uh, Leicester Tigers. They, they are back line. No, they are, they are bench. They've gone to 6-2 split, as you can see. Six forwards and two back line players. At the number 9 replacement will be Harry Randall this time around. Uh, yeah. Is from Bristol Bears, so he's a decent player. I've, I've, I think I've, I, don't, I don't really watch uh, the Premiership, but I think this guy here, Randall, is a decent player. That's why they've selected him. The All Blacks have also released their squad. Uh, this is the squad they've released. His familiar names also. Uh, it's almost the same team they used when they played England last time. Uh, Cody Taylor would be with. Uh, Tara Lomax and Tamati Williams as his props. Second row, Scott Barrett, the captain, will be with Tupo Vai. Wallace Titi, Sam Kane, and Adesa Via will form the back row. There's no TJ Perenara this time around. They have gone with Cortez Ratima. Yeah. No TJ this time around. Cortez Ratima is the one who starts. Uh, at 10 is where they've made the big change. Uh, Barrett comes in from 15, he's gonna play at 10 this time around. Bottom Barrett, yeah, I think it's a good decision because I don't think uh, Mackenzie was the answer for them at the fly half department. The back line is very much talented, as we know, they're all blacks, but this time, uh, Mark Tlia won't play 11, he will play in the right wing as number 14. Will Jordan is the guy who will play for them as the full back at 15. He's a good player, Will Jordan, but I like him more when he's playing on the wing. But they have to play him at 15. Yeah, that's why he plays for the Crusaders. On the bench, they've gone for a 5 3 split. Uh, Pas Pasilio Tosi is a guy I think who's going to play this time. They didn't play when they played England last time. He comes in on the bench with Cam Roga, Cam Roga to returns from injury as the replacement for number 9. Cam Rockard is their number nine, is their preferred choice at number nine, but he's still nursing. He was nursing an injury, so he comes in now, so they're gonna they're gonna try to ease him in slowly. So yes, these are the squads, guys. Uh the last two meetings these guys met, it was 2-0. The Oblex won 2 0 in that series in June. Um and then the Oblex went on to play six games after that. They lost three, they won three. Um uh, so it's not been a smooth transition for Scott Robertson. Uh, I think this 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 uh, November tours is is an opportunity for him to consolidate and show that he's the worthy coach for the All Blacks. There will be no rain at the Alliance Arena or Twickenham on Saturday, so it should be a straightforward game. So yes, in terms of plans or, or, or approach to this game, I think. For England, I think it's going to be a kicking duel. They have to, uh, England are going to uh, really try to kick uh, uh, the hell out of New Zealand. 
uh, meaning of kicking the balls, of course. Uh, Marcus Smith. Um, they have Fairbank, Fairbosso, and Freeman. Uh, these guys are these three guys are very special. They're very good uh, with the high balls. So I think as they did last time when they played New Zealand, the second test they scored about two tries from high balls on the on the on the, on the left hand side on the right hand side where Telea was one was playing. So I think this time around they have to try the same thing because uh, Telea was not comfortable last time when they played the All Blacks under the high balls. They can really try to target that side today. Uh, tomorrow we'll be playing on the right wing so they have to go to that left hand side and try to probe that side to Marcus Smith with those high balls and try to see what Talia can how Talia can deal when he's confronted with this with either Freeman, Faber Poso or Fairbank yeah I think the New England will have to try to do that Uh, the lineout also, uh, I think, yeah, Mauro Itoja was very uh, dangerous last time when he played New Zealand. He was disrupting New Zealand in the lineout, stealing a few lineouts. So that really was killing the rhythm from New Zealand. You could see Scott Barrett was getting frustrated because of these uh, disruptions from uh, Mauro Itoja. So I think the same thing has to happen. Same thing. They are, that set piece, the lineouts, really, they have to try to kill off that those launches from New Zealand. So for the Oblex, I think uh, we know how they play in the Oblex. They like transition. Uh, I think this time around they have to do the same thing. If 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 England kick loosely to them or they kick and don't find their touches, they need to try to really catch them off guard. And uh, also England have lost Felix Jones, so I'm not sure how their defense is gonna be uh, tomorrow. Uh, yeah. So uh, so New Zealand have to really target that. Yeah, Barrett at 10 is a good change for the All Blacks. He's going to kick them nicely. He's going to know how to control the game, the feel of the game, uh, when to be risky, when to be uh, conservative. So Barrett is very critical for the All Blacks in this game. Uh, they need to make sure, also try the lineouts, you know. As I said, disruptions. They need to try to have clean lineouts, which will allow them to test that English defense uh, without Felix Jones. So yeah, uh, who's going to win? Uh, tight game, but I think England, because they're playing at home. The last time they played, England were really close. They just lost momentum in the last 20. So I think England uh, will win this game by close score. Close score. So England. Thanks, guys. Enjoy evening.